Hey guys, welcome back to the Sisu Van Build. In this video, we're talking about fuel economy, both before and after this custom topper build. Make sure you stick around to the end because I think you're gonna be really surprised at what the final numbers came out to be. It's a lot better than you might have thought. So I know my next video was supposed to be about paint, but it has been one of the wettest monsoon seasons on record here in Southern Arizona. In some areas, we've gotten over 24 inches of rain in a three month period in the desert. So it's been crazy. Just trying to get a couple dry days in which to paint has been a challenge, which I never thought would happen. Um, also, life changes extremely fast. Since the last video, my wife and I are now expecting our first child and we recently bought 40 acres of land. And so as you can imagine, we've been flooded with a ton of other projects. I've had to build RV covers and do a lot of tractor work and get basic systems in place so we can continue to live on our land. So moving forward, I wanna make the channel a little bit more broad, not only talk about this van build, but also what we're up to on the homestead. I wanna talk about RV life, um, I plan on building some monolithic domes on our property, so I'll do some videos on that. And then also I want to get into some other topics as well, like minimalism and financial independence and even mindfulness. Uh, because life is a lot broader than just vans. And don't get me wrong, I love van life, I love RV life, I love everything about it. And it can be a great tool for accomplishing your dreams if you do it right. Um, but life is a lot broader than just that. So I think I want to make the channel a little bit more inclusive and show you what RV life and van life can lead to if you do it right. But anyways, this video is about fuel economy. So let's dive into the fuel economy test I ran before and after that topper build and see what the results are. If you remember from the speed test video, my maiden voyage took me on a nearly 200 mile round trip, starting at 2,000 feet elevation up to 6,000 and then back down again. 80% of this driving was done on the interstate, and aside from the few speed bursts above 70 miles per hour, I mostly kept it at a steady 60 to 65. Now, unfortunately, I was too eager to start in on my topper build, so I was not able to do a baseline test before I cut the roof off. This is a pretty easy figure to look up though, and a few internet searches will quickly show you that a common fuel economy range for these 7.3 liter E350s is around 18 to 20 miles per gallon, with their gas counterparts only getting 10 to 12 miles per gallon. This is one of the main reasons why people love these diesel vans so much. Not only are they built to last over 400,000 miles, they also can tow up to 10,000 pounds, and oh yeah, they also get 20 miles per gallon. So I'm a little bit in shock right now because I just drove almost 200 miles and I filled up my tank again and it only took 10.5 gallons of gas. And the odometer, it is topped off. I went 197 on my trip odom and that means I've got 18.7 miles per gallon when I made my little trip. That's insane. That's crazy. I, I just built a 34 inch bubble top on this thing. I, th I thought I was gonna get like 10. I was hoping for 10, but I'm getting 19. That just shows you if you build a pretty aerodynamic topper, even if it's 34 inches tall, it doesn't make that big of a difference. I matched the front, the geometry of the van. I rounded the corners, made it as aerodynamic as I could for going up 34 inches. 19 miles per gallon. Wow, I mean, I'm pretty light right now, I'm really light. So the back is pretty much stripped. Obviously I have the topper build, which is about 300 pounds. Um, but other than that, I have maybe another 300 pounds. I got my floor mats that I'm using for the flooring, some tools, an air compressor, a mountain bike, maybe another 300 pounds. So I took the seats out and everything. So yeah, I'm about, I'm pretty light, um, but that's amazing. That means I can use this thing for so much more than just an RV. All right guys, well there you have it. No real substantial change to fuel economy after building a 34 inch bubble top, which is still just insane to me. Um, we're getting really close to the end of this video series. I still wanna do a video on weight and cost, and then probably a final reveal um, of the interior and final paint job once I get there. Um, but I got a lot of other projects that I'm doing right now. We got 40 beautiful acres of raw land in which to just let your imagination run wild. So. 
I plan on doing some aquascapes and some ponds. I'm going to do some uh, dome builds, some monolithic domes. I plan on building a sauna. Um, I already built an RV cover, so maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, so I'm going to start to broaden the scope of this channel, and I hope you guys will stick around and see where this thing evolves, um, because I got a lot of other stuff that I'm really passionate about and I can't wait to share with you. So stick around, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.